says that she have two hometown. And if you like to scuba diving and you like the sunshine, she will recommend the Philippines. And if you like the mountains and the cities, she will recommend to go to Taiwan. So let's give a big plus for Amanda. So, how are you feeling today? Great? Great. Yeah. So, I know most of you are a Toastmasters members and you already know what an evaluation session is, but I just want to give you a reminder of how important the evaluation session is into your life. How can you apply evaluation into your daily life or into your work life? Again, evaluation is a session where you provide feedback to the speakers or sometimes when you have eva evaluators, evaluators, we provide an evaluation to the evaluators. And also we'll have a, an evaluation on the language. So why is it important for us to give feedback? What skills are we trying to learn here? We're trying to learn a skill called feedback, right? So how do we think on our feet and give someone a suggestion without offending that person? And on top of that, you have to encourage and motivate them to do better next time. So that's actually the skill that we are trying to implement or we're trying to acquire here in Toastmasters. And how can you implement that in your life? Are you a manager? Do you want to become a manager? Are you facing your clients? Do you have to give them feedback? Do you have to give them suggestions? At home, when you're talking to your kids or to your, to your wife or your husband, do you have to persuade them? Do you have to give them feedback? Honey, you have to do your dishes. Um, so how do you encourage your other half to do the dishes or do the household chores? So these are the skills that we are trying to learn in Toastmasters. So in an evaluation session, you when you listen to your speakers, you have a few minutes to try to develop your own your own suggestion, and you have to deliver it within a certain amount of time. So we practice effective communication. Now, for the evaluation session, we'll have we had two speakers today, so we'll have two individual evaluators followed by a eva language evaluation. Moving on with our first evaluator, who's going to evaluate Jamie Lance's speech on Dear Me, is your very own area MTV director. <laughs> and as you know, her hometown is Taipei. 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 And she will introduce Taipei as a friendly city with delicious food. So let's welcome Polly Liao. So after Jamie's speech, do you want to journal your life? Yes. <laughs> yes. So I'm very happy to be Jamie's evaluator for her speech, Dear Me. So in Jamie's speech, I found it was a very encouraging speech. It encouraged people to have the habits on how to journal your life, no matter it's a big or small things in your life. So Jamie also provided some examples from her, like how she got the letter she wrote when she was nighting back. And with so many questions from her, with the younger Jamie, was the current Jamie. So it was always great to hear some stories from the speakers so that it can attract people's attention because it's something new, something that people didn't know before. So it was a good speech, but to make your speech from good to great, we can do something differently in the future for your speech. So first of all, I would like to address some of the main idea of your speech. So at first, I thought it was going to be a speech about you and uh, how you, how your reflection on the younger you and the current you like how did you try to change or how did you react to your questions that you asked from the younger Jamie. But there I found out it was a speech to convince people the benefits or the good or the good things that you can have from the being, building the habits on journaling. So I think it's better to rework on your speech structure so that people can understand what is your main idea at first and it will be more clear to the audience that they can be convinced to have a habits on journaling in their lives. So I think 
that is about the speech structure and the main idea that we can work on together in the future. And I suggest Jamie to have more vocal varieties in her speech. I think adding more pauses during her speech could that people follow her pace even better. And you can also add some like high pitches in your speech to attract people's attention because the pitch or the tone use is kind of like a very similar tone. It was comfortable, but if you use some different tones or different pitch, people can feel different and can feel attractive to your speech. And overall, I think Jamie's speech is convincing about how people should journal their life. And I think Jamie herself has provided a good example and to tell us how to journal your life better. And I, I think it would be great that if we can hear more stories from you or more experience from you that how journaling is changing or benefiting your life, that would be a lot of better to us as the audience. We can do that together in our lives. And overall, I really enjoy your speech and I am going to start journaling my life <laughs> going forward. Thank you, General Yvonne. Thank you, Polly, for demonstrating on how to provide a good feedback. I mean, for once there, for once there, I thought she provided a sincere feedback, and it's also not she's praising the speaker without over whitewashing. Now, the the last thing that you want in in your work or in your life is to over whitewash people and fill them with appraisals, but then that's actually doing it in a in in an unhealthy manner. You want to praise people, but at the same time, you want them to improve as well. Now, moving on with our second individual evaluator is a member of Taipei Toastmasters, and he happens to be the 2011 nationwide champion for the humor speech contest in Taiwan. Oh. Wow, you didn't know that, right? So I didn't know, it's like I was looking at the gym. So when he was his hometown is in Taichung, and he's going to introduce it to foreigners as a place where you find beautiful girl and beautiful weather. <laughs> so let's welcome our second individual evaluator to evaluate Mike Chan's contest rehearsal speech, Oscar Girl. <laughs> Actually, I don't mention my championship a lot <laughs> <laughs> because my English is not full enough and uh, I just spent $120,000 last week to, to study my English online, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's really expensive. <laughs> okay, and uh, Mike, uh, it, regardless of the older skills in Toastmasters, it's a touching story. I, it already makes us feel that it's already a wonderful speech. So. Your, your English fluence and your gesture is very, you know, it's very good, and uh, it's a touching story. So I, I love your story very much. Especially, I have no uh, image about my grandma. I just only saw her once when I was like five years old. So <laughs> it's a touching story. But since you are joining the national contest, so I'll use a higher standard to evaluate your speech. First, it's a good one, also the bad one, your gesture. You, you have a very vivid gesture, however, your gesture is too much. It's not good or bad because you're such an energetic speaker. So you, you, I, I guess those are spontaneous gestures. You can't just help with it. So if I were you, I would choose to use more exaggerated gesture when it comes to a right plot in your speech. Like when you, you, your grandma slap your face. <laughs> so, I, I, I just, it's just an example, it's not a good example. <laughs> okay. And the second one, the second advice I want to give you is try to use a dramatic transition in your speech. Because you are, your style is very energetic and you give us a lot of gesture. It, it, it's, it, it's a who you are, so we have to use more dramatic transition. But it has to relate it to your meaning. There's a Chinese old saying that when the tree wants to stand still, but the wind still blows. <laughs> when you try to treat nice to your parents, but they are gone. 
What is the meaning of your speech? You have to reinforce that message to others, because、uh, at the end of the speech, I can not understand what is the meaning of your speech. You you are regret, or you didn't treat your grandmother well in time. So you have to enforce that message. And、uh, here I give you some example about how what is the dramatic transition. Like you, your grandma give you one hundred dollars. All the time, but and、uh, you trying to pay her back, so you prepare a gift for her. However, you are all, you are playing the video game all the time, and you are you know you're not in a rebellion phase, so you you forgot the gift. But when I heard the message that your grandma was in the hospital, it just she just go away, and you you don't have the chance to give the gift for for her. So you you regret for this. For a long time, so, so maybe so. However, one day you found the one hundred dollars. With the later, your grandma said something to you. You finally you walk out that sorrow or the or your the hardship, the bad time. So you finally help other people's grandma to blah blah blah. It's a dramatic. You your grandma is good good to you. You prepare gifts, but you never have the chance to give her. And finally, ah.、Uh, You open your mind again, so that's the dramatic transition. And、uh, if you want to convey the message at, at your conclusion, you have to make it last at least thirty seconds. Thirty seconds, because I just try to listen to hear your message from your speech, but it just end. You you just give conclusion, and you suddenly I have no idea. It's too quick to to end your speech. And、uh, here I want to give you a conventional way. Because in the championship, I,、uh, the the speech I gave,、uh, is talk about my baldness, and okay, I have a much hair than that time, <laughs> although I don't have much hair right now.、Uh, when I talk about my baldness, the the national world champion is sitting was sitting right in front, the the, the second the first row. So at the night before this contest. I I link my speech to him because I don't I didn't know he, he will come to this contest. So I said,、uh, what what is the good advantage of my baldness? I、uh, can ah、uh, you 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 can join the the, the, the national con contest and or you can be the world champion. Everyone laughed because the world champion has no hair at all. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just a linkage. You know, you have to. It's but it's a conventional way, and it take risk mm -hmm. because、uh, you, you have practiced a lot. But if you <laughs> just change your speech, it's kind of risky. But it's a so it's a conventional way. So oh, you know, it's a very touching story because you're a talented speaker, and、uh, you're energe energetic. So if you can practice and pro polish your skill, you know,、uh, we need a champion. It's just a matter of time. So. Contest, Jenny、uh, evaluator. <laughs> okay, well now I know why you're the world championship. It's like seldom do people make, seldom do evaluators make people laugh during the evaluation. Now, moving on to our next session is our language evaluation session where she'll be. Explain to us or sharing with us some of the grammatical errors that we've made throughout the meeting and try to correct us on that part or some of the mispronunciations that we've had. Now, when I asked her about her hometown, she said she was born in Taichung but grew up in Taipei. So when she introduces her hometown to foreigners, she will use Taipei and being one, being one of the most popular landmarks in Taipei is. Taipei 101, which was once the tallest building in the world. That's how she would introduce Taipei to the foreigners. Let's welcome our language evaluator, Elaine. She. Thank you, Ji.、Uh, okay.、Uh, thank you for today's wonderful speakers. I learned a lot from you, and here are some of my observations to share with you. And first part is the good usages. So today,、uh, some people talk. Some members talked about their hometown, and they all have、uh, beautiful places.、Uh, so some of one of them said, "Spec, 
spectacular landscape, and the other said beautiful scenery. So uh, besides uh, it is a beautiful place, we can use these kinds of expressions to e describe a beautiful place. And uh, Tian, uh, postmaster of the meeting said, people in Kaohsiung are very hospitable. And uh, hospitable is uh, also a good word for us to remember. It means uh, friendly and welcoming. And, uh, and also, also Yulong, I think, he said, I felt when he changed his address from Kaohsiung to Taipei, he felt unreal and upset. So uh, I think this is quite beautiful set. And uh, it's very important to speak up and tell the truth. Speak up is also a, a good phrase to remember. It means to say what you really want to say. And uh, from time to time when you feel lost or you feel frustrated, you have to reset your mindset. This is also a very beautiful expression. And after, uh, I think it's uh, Jamie's speech, Yulong said, it's a remarkable speech. And uh, remarkable is also a good word to remember. It means very special and uh, worth mentioning. And uh, in Mike's speech, uh, there's a word, allowance. It means pocket money. And um, uh, he said, I feel guilty, guilty because I didn't know how to make it right. So make it right means uh, to to do something again to make the wrong things right again. And uh, when he went to the hospital, he found out that his grandma was faint and frail. And frail is a, a new word to me. It means weak or unhealthy. And uh, so after he found out that his grandma has been hospitalized, he determined he was determined to make up for the lost time. And make up for something means to compensate for something bad with something good. So later on, Yulong did lots of things to uh, to like work harder or study harder to, to be able to be, be a good person. And uh, last one is from Amanda. I think uh, before the intermission, our our president, Kara, encouraged you to sign on the slot for speakers, right? And I also want to encourage you to sign up for evaluators because I think uh, Amanda has a point. Because we do this evaluation practice, we can also practice effective communication and use these kind of skills in our real lives. So this is uh, also something you can do and you can learn and or take away from your Toastmasters experience. And the second part is uh, pronunciation. Uh, our, one of our evaluators today's name is Oscar. Oscar. Also, it starts with O, but it's not Oscar, but Oscar, right? And also, uh, the similar thing, nostalgia. nostalgia. Also, it's uh, O, but uh, it's, uh, the pronun pronunciation is nostalgia. And the uh, hometown is uh, like a quite difficult word for me to to say because it's hometown. But uh, sometimes people say hometown, but it's hometown. Okay. And uh, also Yulong mentioned a, a delicious food from Kaohsiung, it's sticky rice. And uh, the word sticky, sometimes people mix up with stinky and they have di totally different meaning. So stinky, stinky tofu means this. Total smelly. <coughs> uh, and um, uh, if you speak over time, you won't be eligible for words. This word, I often, I often heard people say illegible, but the stress is in the first syllable, eligible. And the main attraction of your hometown, main is a long vowel, but people usually say main attraction. And uh, when you refer to the country, the Philippines, don't re don't forget to the S in the end because they are islands. So the Philippines is the name of the country. And uh, the, the last part is, I call it another word. I think people here, that you all have a good 
uh, English skills and ability. So what we, we said, we all understand. But like uh, many Toastmasters said, in Toastmasters, we don't have teachers. We learn from each other. So here are some of my suggestions to make these sentences sound differently. And um, yeah. the first sentence is, I always get inspirations of why I want to join Toastmasters. Uh, maybe I would say, I got inspired or I going to Toastmasters make me remember why I wanted to join Toastmasters in the first place. And uh, this, the second sentence is, it can break out of your comfort zone. Uh, maybe you can say, it can help us step out of our comfort zone. And the third one is, if you have a chance to write a letter to you when you were younger, what would you write? I think I, we all understand that write to a younger you, right? But in this sentence structure, I would I might think uh, when you were younger, you write the same write a letter. But actually, I think in this in this sentence it means now if you have the chance to write to a younger you, to you in the back, uh, in the past, what would you write? And uh, the next one is. You can write diary, and um, you can say, you can keep a diary. And the last one is, wearing style changed a lot. Uh, I'm not sure if the the usually the usual sentence uh, phrase is wearing style or others, but the first thing came to my mind is clothing style. I would use that. Clothing style has changed a lot. Okay, so. Uh, here are all of my observations. I hope that also helpful for you. Thank you all. Thank you, Elaine. Now, moving on, we'll have our timer and ask counter report, please. Mark? Please Yes. Jenny, six. Six minutes, 24 seconds. Okay. Mike, seven minutes, two seconds. Two seconds. Andrew, yeah. one minute, two seconds. Tina, one minute, 12 seconds. Dawn, two minutes, nine minutes. Nine seconds, okay. Peter? Nine seconds. Uh, Peter, one minute, 15 seconds. Holly, one minute, 40 seconds. Holy, three minutes, fifteen seconds. Oscar, five minutes, thirty-five seconds. Okay. Good job. A <laughs> <laughs> counter? Okay. Three. Zero. Zero. Yes. Four. Four. One. Three. duty to provide an overall observation towards the meeting. Now let me start it off with good job to our president Kara for giving a wonderful opening remarks and announcements. Let's put our hands together for Kara. <laughs> so what I like about your opening remarks is that you, you constantly encourage your members to take up assignment roles. You constantly give them an idea of how Toastmasters can help them on their journey. You give them a motivation on why, what else can you have in Toastmasters? You, apart from the delivering speeches, you get to have the chance to, in, to visit other corporate clubs. You know, you, it's, it's, it's a wonderful opportunity for you to go out and explore what other offices are there apart from Zhonghua Bank, right? I also love that you have, you're preparing for your next term officers. You're calling for next term officers. Now, to be honest, well, it's, it's good. It's, it's important. It's important. Well, if I were to compare you eight months ago 
right versus right now, I thought there was a huge progress in terms of your English communication. So within eight months, because you have to constantly come up on stage, deliver a five-minute opening remarks and a five-minute announcement for twice a month, right? So that's that takes a lot of practice. So within a short period of time, if you want to fast track your English communication skills, run for president. <laughs> run for president, okay? So moving on. Yes, yes, Kara, yes, run for president, run for president, English. The motivation is English communication skills within one year, that's supercharged. <laughs> now, moving on with the Toastmasters update me meeting, great job, you long for conducting the Toastmasters as a host. I love the meeting theme that you have prepared, hometown, it makes me feel nostalgic as well when I remember my own hometown, the Philippines, so I go to Zhongshan North Road and buy some Philippines food over there. <laughs> now, our, our word of the day, nostalgia, is a wonderful word, word, I thought it's something new that we've never used before, so I love that you're constantly bringing up new words and new observations as language evaluator. We did learn a lot from her, right? So give yes. her a hand on a good hand. Now the variety session, as always, it's very exciting. It's very, it's very eye-opening. I would say eye-opening because it's uh, this is this is not first time for me to play Kahoot, but for some of the people who has never played Kahoot before, this that this is definitely something exciting for you, right? So I love Kahoot. I love that you have brought up interesting, fun facts about Taiwan. So we learned something. It's educational. Now, for the prepared speech sessions, speakers, you have heard from your evaluators, so you have something to take away from your evaluators. What I could add up to that is that, for example, for Jamie, I thought you have a very potential inspirational speech there if you're planning to run to compete next year for the inspirational, uh, for the international speech championship. I would really suggest you to work on this speech. It's, it has a huge potential. Now, what I could re recommend is if you have a, ch when you start off with your speech with a question, it was a meaningful question. What I would suggest you to, to, to do is to start off with a soft voice. I love that you have repeatedly asked a question twice. Keep that. Now start off with a, if you have a chance to write back to a younger you, what would you say if you have a chance to write back to a younger you, what would you say? And then pair it up with an eye contact. Focus on someone, what would you say? <laughs> right? So that, 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 that will help you get the message across, at least make an impact. You're not gonna make an impact to 100 people, at least make an impact to one. Now, next thing is, I love that you have, I love the quote that you mentioned, work as fast as you can, but wait for your soul to catch up. That's also something that you could probably bring up to the front of your, your speech, because it, it has an impact there. So it's just a matter of how you're gonna develop your entire speech structure. Now, Mike, I thought your speech was a, definitely much meatier than the pre previous uh, speech, speech versions. I love that you have constantly uh, added new elements towards your speech. Now, I would, what I would challenge you is, again, eye contact. I thought you weren't really paying close attention to your audience. You were more likely memorizing your speech rather than, than connecting with your audience. Now, again, as the, same as the same suggestion with Jamie is pick, up, pick someone and try to communicate that word, especially important messages. Pick someone and communicate to her, okay? Now also, gestures, I thought Oscar did a wonderful job on bringing up exaggeration. I thought your, your, your gesture wasn't as exaggerated as it can be. There's still potential. There's still huge a huge room for you to exaggerate. Now stage presence, I thought you were using just this two rows. You're not really fully maximizing your, your, your stage. So again, stage presence, maximize your stage. Now for the table topic speakers, I thought everyone were trying their best to use the word nostalgia. <laughs> that, that's good job there. I thought that 
what I would suggest for everyone to do is follow Don's lead, maximize the time. You have two minutes, don't just aim for one minute, aim for two minutes. Because again, Table Topics is a place for you to practice impromptu, on the spot thinking and delivering your speech, maximize that. Lastly, with the evaluators, I thought the evaluators all did a great, great job in doing an evaluation. What I would suggest is speech objective. Start off with a speech objective. Every speaker has an objective. What was the objective? Why is it important to, to mention the objective? There, there's a reason why we have path, right? Like we have level one, level two, level three. Each one has its own objective. Let the audience know what was the objective. So did the, did the speaker meet the objective? Like for example, in terms of the level one icebreaker speech, so what all the, all the speaker needs to do is to introduce herself for four to six minutes. So did she, did, did, she, did she or he met the objective? So start off with a speech objective. It will help the audience know what is the speaker aiming for. Now lastly, overall I enjoyed the meeting today. Um, Great job, everyone, and I did have fun today. So thank you. <laughs> Let's welcome back our toast.